Welcome to our mathematics program on ratio and proportion. Today, you're going to learn how to define ratio and direct proportion, how to compare two quantities involving a ratio and proportion, and to solve word problems involving ratio and proportion. We use ratios and proportions in our daily life without realizing it. You must have heard your mum saying, for every two cups of flour, we add half cup of sugar whenever she shares a recipe with someone. Little friends, have you ever prepared a juice mixture from concentrated juice and water? If you ever have, what proportion of concentrated juice to water did you use? We look now at the definition of ratios. Ratios are used to compare two quantities of the same kind or two quantities measured in the same unit. A ratio can be written in the form A is to B or A over B as a fraction. We look at an example. I'm sure you will like these lovely pictures of fidget spinners and top spinners. The ratio of fidget spinners to top spinners is 3 is to 2. Write down the following quantities in terms of a ratio and a fraction. 4 girls to 3 boys. 4 is to 3. And 4 over 3 as a fraction. 12 blue pens to 17 red pens. 12 is to 17. And 12 over 17 as a fraction. Oh, little friends, the donuts and cupcakes look so yummy, isn't it? The ratio of donuts to cupcakes is 2 is to 4 which can be simplified to 1 is to 2. We divide both numbers by 2. The HCF of 2 and 4 is 2. So we divide both numbers by 2. Let's now have a look at this example. Simplify the following ratios. 5 is to 15. The solution? The HCF of 5 and 15 is 5. So we divide both numbers by 5. 5 divided by 5 and 15 divided by 5. We obtain 1 is to 3. Part B deals with fractions. 1, 3 over 4 is to 2, 1 over 8. The solution? We first convert to improper fraction. 1 3 over 4 equals 7 over 4 and 2 1 over 8 equals 17 over 8. We now multiply the two improper fractions by 8 where 8 is the LCM of 4 and 8. We obtain 14 is to 17. We now look at an example dealing with decimals. 1.2 is to 3.6. The solution? 1.2 is to 3.6 equals 12 is to 36. Here we have multiplied 1.2 and 3.6 by 10 to obtain whole numbers. We then divide each number by 12, which is the HCF of 12 and 36 to obtain 1 is to 3. We have an example of sharing in ratio. Share 5,000 rupees between Shania and Dia in the ratio 3 is to 2. The solution? Number of equal parts. 3 plus 2, we have 5 equal parts. 5 equal parts of 1,000. 
which we have obtained by dividing 5,000 by 5. We now find Shania's share by multiplying 1,000 by 3 to obtain 3,000 rupees. Diya's share is obtained by multiplying 1,000 by 2 to obtain 2,000 rupees. We now look at an example on word problems on ratio. The heights of Ronnie and his father are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If Ronnie is 120 centimeter tall, find the height of his father. We now look at the solution. Ronnie's height is to his father's height is 2 is to 3. Ronnie's height is 120 centimeters. We need now to find his father's height. We have multiplied 2 by 60 to obtain Ronnie's height. We now need to multiply 3 by 60 to obtain Ronnie's father's height, which is 180 centimeters. Another example. An orange drink is obtained by mixing orange juice and water in the ratio 2 is to 5. If there is 15 milliliters more water than orange juice, find the amount of orange juice used. We look at the solution. This is given orange juice to water 2 is to 5. The difference in ratios 5 minus 2 we have 3. Three parts equal 15 milliliters. One part equals 15 divided by 3 equals 5 milliliters. Amount of orange juice equals two parts multiplied by 5 equals 10 milliliters. We now look at the definition of direct proportion. Two quantities are in direct proportion if an increase or a decrease in one quantity results in an increase or a decrease in the other quantity in the same ratio. For example, one box of chips costs 25 rupees. How much will two boxes of chips cost? You're right, friends, 50 rupees. We look at an example. If 12 mangoes cost 240 rupees, how many mangoes can be bought for 100 rupees? The solution, 12 mangoes cost 240 rupees, 1 mango will cost 240 divided by 12 equals 20 rupees. Number of mangoes that can be bought for 100 rupees we have to divide 100 rupees by 20, giving 5 mangoes. Now it's time for some exercises for your practice. So little friends, we have seen together the definition of ratios and proportion and how to simplify ratios. We have also worked out a few word problems on ratios and proportion. You may now try to practice the exercises on your own with your friends or even your teacher at school. Well friends, we have come to the end of our program. Hope you enjoyed our video. Until next time, it's goodbye.